B for B. B, 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 B roll. Use that as B roll. Use that as B roll. Give me a little. Mm. No, I already did that earlier. I was holding my ribs. That's your B roll. Go ahead, right. go out, please, so I can do this. Hey guys. I hope there's not much stuck on my teeth. Welcome back to another Gippy's Gal Guesses. Um, you'll probably notice that it's been kind of uh, farther between my guesses videos. It's just because um, life gets crazy and homeschooling um, and being a stay-at-home mom. Um, by the end of the day, I just want me time because I don't have any of that during the day. Like, I really don't have a second to myself. So in the evenings, I really cherish that time. Um, but I am hoping to get back in the swing of things and start getting more videos. We want to film some um, discussion videos because we know the quarantine is probably driving a lot of people mad. Um, I know it's slowly getting us there, but we have enough to keep us busy. But um, we wanted to film some like discussion videos, just some laid back, non-game related, just videos to to put some content up for those of you that are stuck at home and need some entertainment so be looking for those um probably in the next week or so um and then yeah we have some games that we want to play we want to get on the table and play for you guys and we are really hoping this doesn't put a damper on the wbc but it's really hard um to really know what the future looks like with this whole thing um so i mean as of right now i i haven't heard anything um but I don't know when they would make that decision. Um, it's far enough out that I think we should hopefully still be okay, but who knows. So anyways, today's video um, is a game that is actually kind of, it's a really special, I guess. That's probably the terminology that he would use, but it's what I would call it. Um, basically the um, designer of this game gave Gibby this like his own one of his own personal copies so the way he explained it to me was like when authors write a book and they get so many copies of their book to hand out to their loved ones same thing with games when a designer has a game published um, the publisher will give them several copies of the game to hand out to their friends and their family and Nate tried to buy this one um, and it was unavailable anywhere so that tells you that it's definitely in demand um, so from what people are saying it's a good game um, so he reached out to the designer which is Mr. David Thompson and asked for a copy um, and David was nice enough to send him one of his own personal copies so this is by David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin it is called Undaunted Normandy um, by Osprey Games um, so that is the front of the box um, it is open because as soon as Gimpy got it, he cracked it open and had to look in it. And he's been begging me and begging me and begging me. I think I think it came yesterday or the day before. Um, let's see, today's Monday. So I think it came Saturday, possibly. Might have come in the mail yesterday, but whatever day that it came in, he has been nonstop. Film the guesses, film the guesses, film the guesses. Um, so I can get this on the table because he, if it's a new game, generally we like for me to do a guesses because it's fun for me and for you guys um, and generally I do those before he does anything else with it so anyways that's the front of the box and the back of the box looks like these so we have um I looks like history about it June 1944 so again if you're new um, to this channel or to the series basically what I do is I take a game and I just try to figure out how it's played not using the rule book, but just based off of what I find inside the box. Some people might consider this more of an unboxing because I just kind of go through everything in the box, but I do throw a guess in there um, in the end. So I usually like to guess who, what, when, and where. So the where or the when is already here. It's June 1944. The very first line of the back of the box is right there. Um, and then it says, is a campaign driven deck building game. So that means card building or deck building to me. That sounds something that's up my alley. I like deck building games or card games. Um, and this looks like an example of some game pieces. Um, it says deck building, skirmish, and historical contents, 108 cards, 18 map tiles, four dice, 85 tokens, and a scenario booklet. Um, 14 and up. Looks like 45 to uh, 60 minute gameplay for two players. And it is a versus type of a game. So you play against each other. Don't believe it has a solitaire, comp solitaire component to it. If I'm wrong, Gimpy will correct us. So that's the back of the box. Go ahead and open it up. There we go. Try to put that where it's still on there. Okay. Okay. 
I do like when they have these little like designer or um, designer dividers in them, which this one looks like a face right here. Um, so it has that in the inside and there's nothing else underneath, but this is removable. So I love those little um, organizational components to some of these games. Um, sorry, I moved that right here. I gotta have my drink. All right, so here are the tiles and it said there were 18 map tiles. So that's what these are here. Hopefully that's in frame. Um, here's our dice. We have four dice, which are D10. I think, yeah, these are D10. There are four dice there. Here's the two, two decks of cards, and here's all the counters. And here's the scenario booklet, and probably the rules booklet. Okay, so I like to look at those last. This looks like it's just like a, uh, what is that called? Like an advertisement thing for other games. So there's that. Here's the cards. Let's look at these really quick. Um, we have Platoon Sergeant, Platoon Sergeant. They're different colors, um, and the designs on the back are different, so these must represent the two sides. It did say that it was a versus, and it's two players, so I'm assuming each player has one of these decks, and each deck represents one side. Don't know exactly what is what. If I read the back of the box or the, the rule booklet, I would probably know more of who the sides are, but it said Normandy, um, so I'm guessing German. Because that, yeah, German for, let's see. Oh, I just saw it in the back of the box. I was glancing at it and it popped out at me. Um, now you must lead your troops as you push deeper into France and drive back the German forces. So the German forces definitely are one side and the allies are the other side. I cheated on that one a little bit. So, but I could have figured that out from World War II. Eventually I would have figured it out. I'm not stupid. Um, but that's what these are. So it's a deck building game. So... Like, if you look, let's get this out of the way. So these have, like, bolster and a number and then command and a number. And then there's a number at the top. I don't know if that's, like, their rank. Um, and I don't know what other... I'm going to have to open this because it's a it's a deck building game. And the, the vast uh, majority content in this box is the cards. Like, that's the biggest component of this game. So I wouldn't really be fair to guess with that. I'm just going to open one pack. Usually I don't open the cards, but since this is a card you know, game, I'm going to look at them a little more in depth so we can get a better idea of exactly what we got going on here and how we can do a deck building game with these types of cards. So we have Platoon Sergeant, Platoon Guide, and I believe that's probably their rank at the top. It'll tell you in the rule book, I'm sure. We have a Sniper, 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 a Mortar, Squad Leader, Rifleman. Scout. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different. Now there are different letters. It looks like A and B, C, and then these at the back don't have A, B, or C. These are just Fog of War, Fog of War, Fog of War. Those are all Fog of War cards. Whatever that means. It sounds like Fargwa, but Fog of War. Um, and then the rest of these, I'm going to put them back in the order that I got them out so I don't mess anything up. But they have, I'll show you. Some of them have them. Looks like these first ones don't though. All right, so these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, don't have the A, B, and C. But these here, you'll see, we have A there, B, and then C. So those must be your different, maybe different platoons, different squads. Um, but it looks like it's all different people and they're bolster and inspire or bolster and command. So there's different things that they do. You have move on this one here and attack. So yeah, these are how you build your deck and how you play the game. You, I'm assuming different moves, you draw cards and you put those in your deck and then you play your hand. Um, so it's like a typical deck building game is what it sounds like, but it's got this war aspect to it, which I think is interesting. So it could be something that Gimpy and I might try if it's something, if I'm right and it's similar to other deck building games, I might give it a try, but we'll have to wait and see what he says. So that's the card part of it. And then the map tiles, I think I said there's 18. Yeah, they look different. Um, they have numbers, you know, one, one B, zero, one A. Just kind of flip through them really quickly. That one had a little cute tractor on it. 
But yeah, they do look like they're very different. Some have a lot of just, you know, flat green land. Some have more trees or buildings. So the terrain is definitely different. And I'm assuming that the movement points on those are going to be different based on the terrain. Again, that's just a guess off of previous games. And that's really all the pieces except for the counters. So let's look at these real quick. So two sheets of counters. So you have, um, looks like some tokens to represent your different positions in your deck. Riflemen, gunners, scouts, and mortar, and then snipers. And then that looks like, yeah, this looks like maybe a turn token because on this side it's that. And then on the other side, it's the other symbol. And same thing down here. You've got this the symbol here. We've got some number ones, all sniper. And on the back of that one, it's the other symbol. So that must mean whose turn it is, maybe. And then these must be with their spent. You got some binoculars here, um, radio tower, sniper, and then A, B, and C, which we saw on the card. So that obviously they go hand in hand. So that's one sheet of the counters. And then the other, we have riflemen, gunners, scouts. And mortar looks like just the same, but for the other side. And so there's the other symbol. So it's the same ones. It's just one is for one side, which is the allies, and one is for the German forces. And then there's the back of those. So here is the scenario book, and then here's the rule book. So the rule book is 23 pages. And you'll see right here, if I just click to that, it does break down each card, it looks like, and what it means. Um, yeah, it's a color rule book. Looks pretty straightforward. It doesn't look, in other words, it doesn't look too intense for me. Like, when they have so many breakdowns or the or the counters have like a billion different numbers, and it, it can be a little much for someone like me who doesn't do this regularly. Um, but this one looks like I could maybe figure it out. Um, but I mean, I know the gist of it is it's June 1944. It's the Allies versus the Germans, um, and it's taking place in France, and it's a deck building game. So that's my guess, which isn't really a guess because it was an educated slash cheating guess because I saw the stuff on the back of the box. Um, it's no wonder he told me this one wouldn't be a long one to film because there's not a lot to it. Um, I have um, an inkling, though, that this is probably very similar to other deck building games in that Deck building games to some people might look like, oh, that's so simple. You just have to get cards. Um, and it might be easy to learn, but difficult to master. And that's my guess with this is it looks relatively simple, not a whole lot of components, uh, pretty straightforward as far as what it is and who you're playing as. Um, but it probably is difficult to figure out how to win and how to master it. So um, yeah, this one looks really cool. Again, it's by, what's the name of the publishing company? Uh, Osprey Games, and again, it's David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin are the creators of it, or the designers, um, and huge, huge, huge shout out to Dave, thank you for sending this, because, or David, because Nate was like dying that he wasn't able to order it, and so to get a, a copy of it, he was beyond thrilled, so we appreciate it. And here's the scenario booklet here. So if we just flip through, it has all the different scenarios, so we know it says scenarios and campaign play. Um, Okay, so you can either, I just read one line in here. So again, this isn't really much of a guess is because I'm kind of doing more cheating and reading than I normally do. But it says you can go further. You can string multiple scenarios together and to make it into a campaign. So you can play shorter games by playing an individual scenario or you can play a longer game and, and do more scenarios that you kind of string together. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I was right. It's not a solitaire game because it's a deck building game. You can't really play that by yourself. Um, so this is not a solitaire game, but it looks... It looks very interesting, um, and again, the fact that it's been sold out everywhere, and Nate literally could not find it. Nate is my husband, which is also Gibby, for those of you that didn't know. Um, the fact that he could not find this anywhere should say a lot, because he usually gets games and orders them, you know, early enough that he, he usually doesn't have trouble getting his hands on it, but this one was gone. So, I highly recommend it. I'm sure Gimpy will do the same. He will definitely be filming and getting this up soon, and like I said, um... A huge shout out to David Thompson for sending this to him. Um, he has lots of things that he is working on, but this one he was super, super excited to get. So I can't wait to have um, to, to have him get it on the table and show you guys. And if you're looking forward to seeing Gimpy do a playthrough of this, please give this a thumbs up. Comment below if you're looking forward to it. And if you would like to see some discussion videos, leave some comments of some topic ideas. Not really game related. It doesn't have to be gaming related. It can be just anything fun. 
Um, we thought about bringing back our haunted house series and talking about that some more because um, we have lived in a haunted house and just talking about some things that we've gone through and, and just general entertaining things just to put some more content on the channel while everyone's at home and under quarantine. Um, so that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I hope you are all staying healthy and I hope you are all staying sane. Hope you're physically and mentally healthy. I know um, it's it's hard, especially if you do have young children. Our kids do not understand. And so we're having to take turns with our friends playing outside um, because when our kids see their friends out, they immediately want to run over and hug them and love them because that's what kids do. Um, and so trying to keep them at a safe distance has been hard and not being able to go do our normal um, homeschool things like our nature group or go on little field trips to the park or go eat at McDonald's and anything like that that we usually do to keep, you know, to break up the, the, um, the same multi mall that we do every day being home. Um, we can't do those now, so it's been hard, and I'm sure it's been hard on a lot of you guys, but I really hope that we are nearing the end of this at some point in the near future, but I hope that you are all staying safe, staying healthy, and if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more about this game, let Gimpy know in the comments, and if you have ideas of um, some discussion videos that we'll bring into you, we'll call them our quarantine series, um, so if you have any suggestions for topics you would like to hear us talk about, leave those in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! But, yeah, going mad. Going crazy. Because I'm not a homebody. Gimpy is. Gimpy would be fine to stay home and never leave again, I think. I mean, he, he misses playing X-Wing with his friends. But aside from that, he's fine to be home. I like to get out, so I'm going a little stir crazy. Like, I'm getting cabin fever. It's driving me insane. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Thanks.